everyone, welcome back to our channel. We are exploring the east coast of Tasmania. Now we're going to fit in as many wineries as we can find on this trip, but there's also a lot of other things to do and see here on the east coast, so we thought that we would expand a little bit. There's a lot of great camp spots like donation or free camp spots on the beach. Let's go on the right. We're Chloe and Matthew, two wine-loving foodies who have set out to explore the world one bite, sip and slurp at a time. So this is life on the road. I'm currently in bed, doing some work. Matthew's feeding the dog and got a fire started. So we nearly finished work for the day. I'm all rugged up, got my glass of wine. I'm about to clock off. It's family. Good morning, everyone. We have one extremely excited puppy because there's a beach and there's a ball. We're going to take a morning swim slash shower in the Tasman. Is it the Tasman Sea? Be the first time for me. See how we go. That might possibly have been the coldest water I've ever swum in, or the second coldest water I've ever swum in. The first one was definitely an Alp Lake. Nothing better than starting your day with a swim like that. Dolphins out there, Rexy's having fun. Man, it feels good to be back in the water. This is how good free camping gets in Tassie. Literally walking up from the beach. And there it is. Let's see what Matthew's up to. Enjoying the sunshine? Half of me. I'll flip over and cook the other half in a minute. Hot water. And this is Van Life Brekkie. Quick Van Life, Van Life Brekkie. Quick little omelette. Ham, cheese, and mushroom. Because we only have enough onion and peppers left for soup and curry. Oh, Becky, you want to show everyone how gross you are? And how you rolled straight in the mud, straight after your clean shower? Bakery, brioche bun type smell to it. Yeah. We're here at Abish in 7980. So we're kind of like in an amphitheater. So we've got our own little microphone here. This is very old school Porto. But you know, Porto 20, 30 years ago before wine was parkerized. And yeah. you know, they, they started appealing to the bigger, bolder, oakier palate. Yeah. It's just funny because people can say, oh, I want to taste old Bordeaux. And they crack open that, that, you know, in 1980 something. They're like, it's horrible. And it's like, oh, that's good. <laughs> yeah. That's what it's supposed to be. Finding it really hard to not compare Australian wine with European wine. Like, especially now we're in Pinot country, all I can think about is Burgundy because that's the last time I was in Pinot country. Yeah. And that's a really unfair evaluation. Like, I'm trying to like find what Tasmanian Pinot is about and what's its thing and what makes it special and what makes it unique, but I still haven't really found that yet. Like, so far my favorite's probably been the sparkling and the Riesling. Sparkling's here big killer. And yeah, we've had some great Riesling. Riesling in the Coal River. We live on holiday. <laughs> oh, beautiful. That's what we're aiming for. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, granted, like this afternoon we have to go do some work, but... <laughs> oh, okay. This is the 2019 Salute Sparkling, made the traditional method. It spends two years on its leaves, which gives it a nice creamy texture. Has nice grains with apple flavour, citrus notes, and hints of strawberry. This is real like sugar sheet character. Try 
Dr. Katz. What we doing? Where we at? Going up to Wine Glass Bay. Unfortunately, we can't put the drone up here. So, no, it's sneakily. And it would be the most perfect location to do that, but I'll try and show you the best that we can on our iPhone. Aren't you so upset that I dragged you up here? Girlfriends, huh? Always making you do things to see things. All right, tell us what you think that looks like in the comments below. We think it looks like something very specific, but we want to know if you guys think the same way that we do. So while Matthew is collecting the firewood and getting the fire started, I'm going to start on tonight's dinner which is spaghetti bolognese and we are going to try and perfect this recipe because it's a van life staple and a favorite of mine Let's see what we've got now this is something that wouldn't happen in Italy they can't even do it See, we're already in in a debate because I put two stalks of celery in. It's not the recipe. Well, we're perfecting it how we like it. How do you like <laughs> it? Um, what's next? So now you cook the sofrito, then you add the meat, brown it, add the wine, let it reduce, and then add the tomatoes and the spices and let it sit until you can't stand it anymore. And now, do it. How's it tasting? Pasta needs another 45 seconds. It's pretty damn good. Served in van life style. AKA not very attractively, but very conveniently. Hey, we ain't going for Michelin star presentation and we just want for Michelin star flavor. <laughs> you want to know the best thing about bolognese leftovers? Bolognese and eggs for breakfast. Oh yeah. So got up this morning to come outside and sit in our chairs who have coffee and something went for a walk in Chloe's chair and then took a shit in mine. All I want in this whole life A little red house and a country wife A picnic table out on the lawn A couple of kids and a couple of dogs So we got to this beautiful campsite We've literally got the entire place all to ourselves It's just incredible I thought I would show you some of the realities of van life So we're on a pretty bumpy road Full of dust. You can see the van is just like full of dust. So we have to pull about part the bed, couches, and just dusting everything off. Rexy's absolutely loving this spot because there's no one around and like there's no dangers really to him. So he can just be free and just do whatever he wants for the the rest of this Sunday afternoon. We're probably going to open up a bottle of white wine. I kind of wish we had some oysters right about now. And then Matthew is cooking. Well, he's gonna teach me how to cook a rack of lamb. Cause I've never done that before. And it's gonna be a good night. Another day, another fire, another view. This is life. <laughs> Radio and a country station, high 
Our time in Tasmania is growing short as we visit our final region of this magical island. Join us in our next video as we explore the Tama River Valley and Tasmania's northwest coast with plenty of wine and seafood to keep us occupied. Remember to like and subscribe to follow along the adventure.